Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. How to uh, read the data from CSV file. So here, this is the CSV file. So how to upload CSV file into an Google Colab means Click on this files, click on upload session storage. So select the required file. Okay, so here I am taking SVM, SVM data sets. And here it is providing a reminder like uh, this is only for runtime purpose. Once whenever you close this uh, entire session, this also gets automatically deleted. But anyway, I'm just uh, copying the name of the file. Paste it. Now run the code. So this is only it will be reading that Excel sheet. Yeah, open Excel sheet. Uh, label number of uh, columns and rows provide any random data or you can also directly download from Kaggle or uh, UCA repository any CSV files it is available over there so in this data if I provide it as df dot head of it will be printing only the first five. If I give 10, first 10 rows. Defaultly it is five. Uh, reading, we can take specific columns, uh, not but specific rows. Rows are difficult. So if you want to read that particular columns means So here, which column I'm going to take it as floor. I'll give it as A equal to floor comma milk. Yeah, this will be better. Okay, so like that, I can uh, take the split off. So in this way only, we will be reading the columns. So this is known as data pre-processing inside the data sets. So first, we have to read the entire data and from that we have to select that uh, which column we are going to select it and based on that column we will be proceeding with the next training functions so here i have declared a variable which contains uh, these two as the labels okay so here it is provided as use calls calls is nothing but use columns so here use columns means at least two parameters must be there and so therefore here i am using this as particular set of data and here I am calling the variable A. And finally, it is displaying only floor and milk. I am opening it. I am providing it as name QTY QAL. So this is some random names I am giving. And one more. Right. Okay. So here, brinjal, carrot, lady's finger, potato, beans, tomato, apple, orange. Okay. So now I am providing it as 1 kg, 2 kg, 1 kg, 5 kg, 3 kg, again 2, sorry, 2 kg, again 1 kg, 3 kg. Okay. So quality better, best, better, 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 best, better, sorry, better, best. Now when we come for the rate, 35, 50. 40, 50, sorry, maybe a little bit higher on 40 and 30. So this is my data set. Now, browse the place. I am selecting it as a desktop, Excel workbook, so CSV. So here there are many CSVs, XML, web page, everything is there. So this is the CSV you have to use. 
ESP, comma, delimited. We are using uh, MacBook means Macintosh. We are using Linux means MS DOS. Okay, I am saving it. Okay, so finally it has been saved. Now I am getting back to this, uploading the data from desktop. So to check what other data are there, I am deleting this book one dot csv okay if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel